YouTube, this is uh, Root Junkie here with RootJunkie.com and today, yes, I have another video on the infamous, almost I would say, getting a little old, Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. You know guys, I like this device. I don't know what it, what it is about it, but it's just keeps getting development. So why don't we keep making videos? That's the way we go. So that being said, today I'm going to talk to you guys about installing a new ROM. And this ROM is called Tranchita Cat. I think that's how you would pronounce it. This is based on KitKat. So um, I'm actually going to show you what I have right now on my device. Just so everybody's on the same page here. Uh, basically, if you guys haven't noticed, this device has been updated officially to Android 4.4.2, which is KitKat right here. So it does have KitKat on it. This ROM is going to be based on this official update and it's going to have a lot of cool tweaks in it. So I'm going to go over a couple of prerequisites for you guys. Um, you're going to need to go ahead and download the ROM. Here's mine right there. You got to download. It's about 813 megabytes. So pretty good decent size. You're going to want to install um, Angry 8 or Angry Knoll his latest uh, Torp recovery that works with KitKat. So you're going to definitely want to have that on your device already. Um, you should have videos on all this kind of stuff. I've done a ton on this device. So definitely go to rootjunkie.com and check out my page there on Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. So all that being said, we're going to go ahead and reboot and recover and install this baby and show you what it's on there. I haven't seen it yet myself, so this will be the first time for me. A little excited to uh, check it out. So here we go, I'm going to rotate this around because Torp Recovery is on the side. There we go, Team Win Recovery Project. So, alright, so first thing you want to do before you do anything with installing this ROM is go ahead and make an Android backup, swipe across, create your Android backup. I've already done that step, I have a backup right here in the restore section. So I'm not really worried about doing that right now for me because I can repair it if there's an issue, maybe a bad download, the ROM doesn't flash correctly, any of those kind of issues. Here you go, you can see um, Angry Knoll, his uh, little uh, logo right there in this recovery. This is that Team Win Recovery Project version 2.8.0.0. Uh, you do need this latest recovery when you're using KitKat, so just be aware of that. Uh, there will be problems installing things if you do not have it. So from here we're just going to go to Wipes and Wipe Data Factory Reset. Swipe right across there, gives you a nice wipe out, clean slate and all that goodies. Then you're going to go to install, going to select the Tranchita Cat version 1.2 ROM release. Now there may be a new one when you finally get to this. I'll just link you to the XD thread for this ROM and just download the latest. So go ahead and swipe across and install Tranchita Cat on your Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. While this is installing, we'll just uh, let it go through. Probably not going to take too long. Being as big as the file is, possibly up to four minutes, five minutes, something like that for the install. I doubt it'll even take that long. So while this wraps up right here, just want to tell you, um, this ROM is put out by a guy named John. Really cool. Um, he's done other ROMs for this device as well. And he really likes to put in his own little tweaks and mods and customizations. So I'm kind of curious. Uh, you know what he's got in this thing any kind of theming uh... cool custom apps things like that uh... It'll be interesting to see what we have once we get this thing installed alright there we go just did a bunch of stuff over here probably means we're right close to the, den, to the end here it says done unmounting so it should be done here anytime it looks like it did install a kernel which is cool so we'll go ahead and do a reboot system you can go back and go to home and look at our options in recovery if you'd like. Um, it's just, just kind of up to you, but you don't need to. So let's see, do we have a custom boot animation? That's always the first thing I like to see here on these boot ups. Now, be ready to uh, let this thing boot up for a while. Okay, so this is actually the Android Wear boot animation, which is the same boot animation I have on my watch. Um, so, cool, I like it. Never haven't seen that on a tablet before, but um, very, very neat. Now, this first boot up could take upwards of 5 to 10 minutes, so be patient for it. Let the thing boot. As soon as it's done booting up, um, we'll come back, and I'm going to go through some quick setup of it. We'll come back, and we'll show you guys around. Check it out. Well, 
first things first, you can see it had a sidebar launcher there. That was pretty sweet. And we'll get into that here too. But uh, first thing it does is ask you which launcher you want to use. So your options are the Google Now launcher, Nova launcher, or the stock TouchWiz launcher. Well, it's either Nova or Google for me. TouchWiz is kind of lacking. So we're going to go with this one for right now. Let's just go ahead and look at all three of them. So we'll do just once. And this is going to be the Google Now launcher, which should have that command, OK Google. And you can see it's going to go ahead and do a voice search with that without touching anything. Let's go ahead and check out some of those other launchers. Go to Nova Launcher, we'll do just once. Okay, there's Nova Launcher. And you can see it's got some uh, green theming in it. This is interesting. And then we'll go TouchWiz just once. Again, some green theming, green dots, green... Uh, different different uh, green theming in here as well. Uh, I'm going to go back to the Google Now Launcher. That is my favorite launcher. I'm going to say always is default. And here we are on the Google Now Launcher. Let's go ahead and pull down some drop downs. You do have um, this LMT Launcher, which uh, is a little bit... It's annoying that it's set on default because I'm already... See, you see it right here? I've already got it showing up on me while I'm trying to do other things. So... I need to go ahead and turn that off. Let me go ahead and go into it and just turn it off really quick. It was already kind of pestering me while I was trying to navigate the menus. So, that being said, you do have some other notifications here about super user. So you do have root access. Uh, continue to update binaries normally. It's just going to update the uh, super suit binary. Uh, I'm going to let that do that while I actually keep working. So. Here is your basic ROM. I definitely like it. I liked it. It has the Google Now Launcher on it. I think that's very nice. Uh, you can see some other shortcuts here. Power saving mode. I always turn that on. Just let the battery last a little longer. Got all your drop downs. Here we've got uh, settings. Again, you have that green theme. If you like that, it's very interesting. All the way down, all the icons through here have that green like tint to them. Um, let's see if there's anything unique in here. Uh, it's unusual, not stock, I guess you could say. Um, this all looks pretty much stock. Nothing, nothing sticks out to me there in settings that isn't, uh, you know, on stock application. So very cool. Let's see what else we got here. I think, yeah, we can open this up, and you know, you have your uh, multi-window stuff, so we can go ahead and open. I don't know, let's say gallery. And let's see how, how this actually works. There we go. Oh, so it's looking at Google applications, but here's YouTube. So you got a couple different things you can, you know, move around. Let's do music. So, very cool. I like it. Move them up and down. Um, nice. Very nice. Definitely sweet. Let's check out the applications this thing comes with. There's no more scroll screens on this page. Let's actually go ahead and move this one over. I like this themed application here for the Play Store. That's nice looking. Just different uh, icon. That's cool. Let's see what else we have in here. Okay, so he likes to put a lot of applications in his ROMs. It's pretty sweet, John, here. So let's just kind of look through them a little bit. So three mint battery settings, add away, app settings. It's an exposed uh, module settings thing. Boot, uh, boot manager, build prop editor, those are different. Coolify, not sure how that one works. Galaxy apps, if you want those, they're in there. Faster GPS, ES file browser, the best file browser out there, in my opinion. Love it. Greenify, again, is another one of those exposed frameworks uh, applications. LMT launcher, here's that shortcut thing you saw me playing with earlier. Henry MP, which is interesting. Next browser, Nova launcher. So on, so on. Here's that settings icon, which is very cool. Super Sue, Trickster Mods, nice. This thing's got some fun stuff in it. Um, Unlock Effect, that I have not played with. That's by Ang Angry Noel, like I was telling you some of the other stuff was. I want to look at that. Viper for audio, Wake Lock de de uh, Detector, Exposed Gel Settings, and Exposed Zip Me and YouTube. So there is a lot of like root 
customizing applications in this. I just want to check this one. I have not seen this myself. I'm a little bit excited to check it out. So unlock effect switcher. Tap the button for effect you want none ripple. So this just just uh, the oh light wave. Interesting. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try this. So that was I hit light wave, right? Oh, it's asking for something. Let me try it again here. I think we have to give it root permission, so we'll close it. If I can stop tapping buttons, we'll figure this out here. We'll go ahead and go into super user. Okay, I'm not gonna reboot right this minute, no thanks. So I denied it here, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. So forget. And then we're gonna try that one again. There it goes, grant, finally. Alright, go back into it again. Let's check out our uh, animation right now. Let's just turn it off. Turn it back on. Alright, so that's your animation right there. Let's let's that's that's supposed to be light wave. Let's do um let's do circle and try that one. So that's your unlock, alright. Light. Let's try that one. So it's kinda cool that you get to change your alright. So it's pretty cool. I, I like that. This is pretty sweet. This you get to change your unlock, you know, how that looks and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Definitely digging that. Um let's see what else I want to check in, in here. Stuff's pretty standard. Trickster mod, I've done a video specifically on Trickster Mod, so you you know, exposed framework, same thing. I've got videos directly on those if you want to check them out. Um, LMT, I've got a video on LMT, I've got a video on Greenify. So, Coolify, I'm not sure what this is. Let's see. Temperature is normal. Turn on temperature protection. So basically, if your CPU gets too high, your device gets too hot, it's going to slow things down to allow it to uh, cool off, which is cool. Boot Manager, let's see what we have here. So what this is going to do for you guys is you're going to be able to take certain apps and make them so that they don't actually turn on with uh, boot. So this is something you actually have to enable and framework's not installed. So this hasn't been installed yet. So these are all um, exposed framework modules. You have to set up your exposed framework to use any of these applications that are exposed framework. But um, yeah, so app settings, boot manager, any of those. You gotta get all your exposed framework stuff set up. You just gotta go into here and do an install right here. Okay, update install, get all that going, then enable each of your modules, and then you can start using the apps that are associated with the modules. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. I hope this thing runs smooth. It seems to be running smoother than um, normal stock, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, because my other one seems really laggy. This has got a little bit more smoother transitions and things like that in it than stock KitKat on this device. So there you go. So that's gonna be my quick overview of Tranchita Cat ROM. Big thanks to John for putting this together. Definitely be playing with this on my device. Pretty excited about it. Definitely with the smoother transitions and stuff, I'm really liking that as well. Check it out if you guys are interested in it. I'll give you links to everything you're gonna need in the video description down below. Stay tuned for more videos on this device and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie, out. Yeah.